Well, Beijing says the Philippines is building a military outpost on the Shoal in the South China Sea that is claimed as Chinese territory. Now, China's vice foreign minister lodged a protest with Manila, calling on the Philippines to stop what it calls provocations at sea. Now, earlier, the Philippines summoned Beijing's envoy to formally complain about aggressive actions by Chinese vessels after this clash when it comes to water cannons, Dave, on over the weekend in the disputed waterway. Yep. Let's bring in Drea Colonzo, our Manila-based reporter, who was actually on board and witnessed that encounter uh, firsthand. Uh, Andrea, thanks for joining us. Well, just give us a sense. What, what, what exactly did you see? So it was a uh, week-long uh, embed trip to the South China Sea, and uh, it was an eye-opening firsthand experience. We saw how both China and the Philippines are asserting their claims in the South China Sea. So as a background, China uh, has sweeping claims in that area which was widely invalidated in 2016 in a ruling that heavily favored the Philippines. But uh, Beijing has kept its presence in the contested waters. So I saw firsthand uh, Chinese uh, Navy ships there in the area, uh, Chinese Coast Guard vessels, which at one point uh, used water cannons on a Philippine uh, supply boat for, I think, roughly an hour. And then also there were Chinese, uh, several Chinese militia ships there that acts as a, a force multiplier for Beijing. Uh, Andrea, then, I mean, this is really testing the limits uh, of this decades-old defense pact between the Philippines and the U.S. now. Yes, exactly. So um, analysts are saying that China is employing uh, water cannons to test... Uh, uh, how uh, or when the mutual defense treaty between the U.S. and the Philippines will kick in. So this, uh, this deal, this pact, calls for an armed attack in the South China Sea to be able to pull in American forces to help defend the Philippines. But uh, analysts are uh, saying the Chinese attacks using uh, water cannons are in a gray area. So there's a question, mm -hmm. is this an armed attack? And Will this be enough to draw in US, the U.S. in the South China Sea? So, so Dreo, I guess before, a lot of other questions I want to ask you, but I guess before we, we get to whether or not the strategy from Malacanang and, and Manila is actually working, have we heard from the Chinese? Have we heard from Beijing on this latest incident? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, China has maintained that its actions were lawful and restrained, and it has warned the Philippines that it will continue to take actions, steps uh, to prevent what it's called what it calls illegal trespassing in its uh, territory. However, the Philippines, uh, as you mentioned, uh, also launched a protest and called uh, China's uh, actions aggressive. And it, he, the Philippines said it puts into question uh, China's sincerity in, in, in settling this maritime dispute. Andrea, we're going to leave it there. Andrea Colonzo there, thanks so much for your, uh, there, uh, your reporting, a fascinating video that we're seeing here as well.